Hello guys, this is JC again and in this quick video we're gonna do the last prep we need for our training course, okay? So in this video we're gonna show you how you can get Primavera P6 installed in your computer in case you don't have it and then also we're gonna show you how to set it up the SQLite database for your P6 and after that we are going to walk you through how you can install an ODBC driver that will allow your Power BI to connect directly to your P6 database. Really excited about this guys, it's live connection. Although this session, this quick video is going to be a little techy. It's going to be a little bit kind of uh, IT domain. But don't worry, I'm going to walk you through this. So let's do this together. I'm going to show you now my screen. And um, let's do this, guys. Okay. Here we are. We're going to start first. We're going to start first by uh, getting our Primera P6 installed in our computer. And this is kind of a free download we can do from Oracle website. But this just comes with a 30 day free trial, so make sure you install this whenever you are really approaching the day of our training. And uh, even more, we're gonna kind of go through this ODBC connection in the very last part of the, of the training, so make sure you, you have that available for the end of the course. Okay, so the first Thing I want you to, to type, I want you to type, type this Oracle eDelivery suite. Um, so if we just click enter here, we're gonna get into this software. Uh, you, you just click on the very first uh, search, and I already got that open here. And then if you don't have an account, you're gonna need to create one, and you need to just follow through all the steps, uh, adding your yeah, contact details. In my case, I already got one, so I'm just gonna sign in. Um, whenever you sign in, you're gonna kind of land in this uh, page, right? And in here, you're gonna see that uh, Oracle is telling me that you're gonna find here uh, DLP packages or releases. In fact, what I'm looking is at the, the latest release of Primavera P6. So I'm just gonna type here Primavera P6, do search, and I have this uh, scroll bar so I can find here the one I, I'm looking for, and that is Primavera P6 Professional Project Management. So make sure you select that one, please and just click on search and it will give you the full list and this a little bit confusing because it's so many software over here you have the dlps the releases and all that so i i need to go to releases and then you have different versions Primera p6 version 20 up to 16 i guess you can go for the latest one in fact i'm already working with 17.12 and it's just because I like this one because it's already validated. So potentially some of the new releases, they come with new features, new things, but sometimes they have bugs. Uh, it takes time for Oracle uh, P6 to kind of sort them out. So I will go for 17, but it's just your your call, guys. So if I go to to click on this one, it will be added on my on my Bing, on my yeah. Here it is. So now I can click continue. So it's on my card. Yeah. Um, then you can, you will need to select which type of operating system you have. In my case, again, 64 bits. Make sure what is yours. Um, and then you just go for continue. Right. Finally, you just need to agree the terms, go continue. And finally, it will give you this option so it's basically you can download the three of them but effectively the one we're going to use is the very first one this primary p6 professional application and that is going to have that kind of installer and, and once you find that installer the setup is just going to to go kind of straightforward agree 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 and you can select which type of database you want to install so by default it's oracle but you can choose between a SQL, SQL Server, 
and also uh, the, the, the new addition is SQLite that can, is the easiest one to install so I would recommend you guys to install SQLite okay once you go through that I'm not gonna follow uh, through that here because I already got P6 installed in my computer so it will just make a, a mess for me but hopefully that's a, a really good hint how you can install your Primavera P6 okay so that was P6 and then for those who have already got P6 in their computers, whether they are using Oracle database or they are connected to a network and they are using SQL Server, that's really good as well. For the sake of our training, we are going to try to uh, facilitate this. Um, it's just going to be, be easier if we just everyone is dealing with SQLite uh, database. So for that. We're going we're gonna to show you how to configure a new database in a SQLite uh, type. So if you go to P6, I'm going to open my P6, reinstall this one. I got the release 18th, so that's the one I'm using actually. Um, you have your login and password, right? And usually you don't do anything more than that, basically, because IT guys has already set it up for you. But now you're going to become an IT guy feel proud about that and now we're going to set it up a new database so i go here to this option databases and i can see that my current database if i go over here I hover over here it's going to tell me that it's a sql line and it's installed in this file path right users documentals in spanish and then you find but in case you have one that is sql server is oracle and you actually want to get sql light the only thing you need to do is you just need to add one more database it's gonna prompt this window and the thing is i just need to go and say okay this time i need for a p6 pro standalone sql light okay make sure you select this one guys okay you're looking here um, then you just go next, right? You can change the, the database alias, uh, so you can change that name. I'm just gonna leave that way right now. I'm gonna go for next. Um, basically, what I want to do is I want to add a new standalone database connection, okay? So I go for add new one next, and now you need to input kind of the details you want to go along with this database. Uh, in my case, we're gonna, gonna go for the standard admin, admin, and then password, you can choose whatever you want, admin one, admin one, the same, right? It's kind of a traditional password we get for, for P6, just go next, and now finally it will tell you, it will ask you, where do you want to install this new SQL light, right? And please make sure you know this file path, right? We are gonna need that later on, so make sure you really know, or you just copy this and paste it on on a on a notepad, just to keep it handy, right? At hand, uh, or you can choose any other. I'm gonna choose an, a, a different one just to make sure I don't override a, an existing file. So I'm just gonna go to let's say my PC, in this case documents and I'm just going to create one more folder and I'm going to say SQL Live P6 test just for the sake of this video I'm going to click here and I'm going to save it okay now it's going to generate a new path file, file path and then coming back to my I'm going to override this one and there we have okay once I, I, I really make sure I know what was this file path, then I click next and bingo, we have the database configuration connection successful and we have a new SQLite database configured in our machines, in our computers. And just go for finish and you will see that on my uh, P6 it will be listed as one new database that is called P6 Professional. Okay, that's everything we need to do in case you didn't have a SQLite database.